Vegeta. I caused some trouble lately. Best to deal with this now. <laughs> Let's do this, Vegeta. This is the perfect location. Wouldn't you agree, Kakarot? I don't want to take damage and give Majin Buu more energy. So I'm going full force and ending this right away. Very good. I'm quite eager to see just how hard you've been training in other world. <laughs> Impressive. You're even more powerful than Gohan was back then. <laughs> this might take longer than I thought.
felt good. I'd also grown comfortable living here on Earth and all that it included. And, and that's why, that's why I needed to return to my villainous self. And now that I have, I feel absolutely wonderful. Do you really? Well, Deborah, are you confident you have what it takes to defeat that Earthling? Of course. I will have no trouble at all exterminating that trash. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> he's... He's at full power! No! Impossible! Where did all that energy come from? That's right. Vegeta and my dad are both fighting at a level beyond Super Saiyan. Oh, the damage they're each taking must be massive. He, he's coming out! Martin Buu's coming out! Well him at full power now, then I might as well try to do what I can to stop him. Ha! Too 
Too bad, Bobbity. Majin Buu met his end with that last attack. I'll hold Bobbity at bay. Gohan, you take care of Dabura. Once we've done that, we'll have finally put an end to Bobbity's evil plan. I... I can feel an incredible key. It, it's swelling up. It's... Huh? It's the smoke that came out of the ball earlier. <clears throat> a cloud? No! It's the smoke from before! Uh, uh, what is that? Wait, is that thing Majin Buu? Yes, I could never forget that, that menacing face. <laughs> so it is Majin Buu then. That's Majin Buu? <laughs> Hi there, Majin Buu. I'm Bobbity, the son of your creator, Bibbidi. You've been sealed in that ball for a very long time, but I've gotten you out. I am your new master. Hey, what are you doing? I'm your master. Don't you ignore me. <coughs> What a buffoon. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but it seems we have failed. After all that trouble, we have nothing but this powerless sack of fat to show for it. <laughs> you want to challenge me, the great Deborah? The dreaded demon of destruction, Majin Buu. <laughs> that, that was incredible! Very good, Majin Buu! His key! Majin Buu's key just skyrocketed! It's huge! He's too... He's too powerful. I don't believe this. This wasn't how things were supposed to go. I was confident we could defeat Bobbity and prevent Majin Buu's revival. If only... If only I had known from the beginning that you mortals could have achieved so much more power far beyond that of my own. We could have made use of that method. Huh? That, that method? What do you mean? <laughs> Martin Boo! Listen to me, Martin Boo! Are you really sure you want to ignore me? I've read my father's notes. I know how to seal you back in that ball. Yes, yes, good. That's right. Listen, Martin Boo. Here is your first order. I want you to kill those two over there. I don't know if I can win, but one thing's for sure. He can't be left alone. If 
he gets out of here, the body count could reach catastrophic levels. Never. Not working at all. 
Unbelievable. Nothing's hurting him. You're this way. You go bye bye. <laughs> Trunks, which one's the Majin? Beats me. I don't know any of these guys. Uh, uh. Oh, and Majin Boo, feel free to finish the Supreme Kai off. Boo, hungry. Boo, eat this guy. D Deborah, you're still alive! Lord Bobbity, this creature, Majin Buu, is not like the others. He will not serve you as your loyal servant. He must be eliminated immediately. You insolent little... Turn into cookie! Yeah! Um, <laughs> Magnificent! Very good, Martin Poo! <laughs> uh. Piccolo, what's going on? Uh, the spell's broken. doing here? Ah! What about you guys? What are you doing here? Well, we were statues until just now. But it looks like that creep who spit on us died, and everyone's back to normal. <gasps> what is this unbelievable energy? No! no. It can't be. Is that Majin Buu? Majin Buu, devour this fool as well. Okay, okay! Uh. Vegeta, who was empowered by Babidi's spell and more determined than ever, remain locked in fierce combat with Goku. In the midst of the battle, the two Saiyans began to sense a massive energy that suddenly appeared in the distance. Realizing the energy must belong to Majin Buu, Goku pleaded with Vegeta to stop the fight so they could focus on defeating the new threat. Vegeta knew Goku would no longer be able to concentrate on their battle, so he agreed, or so it seemed. It was just a lie to make Goku lower his guard. With Goku distracted, Vegeta knocked him unconscious. He then made his way to Majin Buu's location, ready to fight the menace he helped bring back into existence. Majin Buu's free because of me, so I'll be the one to get rid of him. I'll settle the score with you after that. That is, if I make it back alive. Right. Time to go meet this Majin Buu face to face. Energy's already gone. Forgive me. This is my fault. <gasps> uh, 
That's it, huh? I might as well destroy it while I can. <laughs> My, 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 my ship! Oh, blast it! What in the world is going on? Hey there! Uh, Vegeta, what have you done? I don't recall telling you to destroy my ship! So that fat bastard with the ugly mug is Majin Buu, huh? You... You killed Gohan, didn't you? <gasps> Gohan! Ugly mug? What's that? It means he thinks you have a strange face. <gasps> now boo angry! I'm not going to hell on my own. I'm taking you all with me! <laughs>
Goo needs to be taken care of, but you're the real cause behind all this, Bobbity. This... this can't be! Good care of your mom for me. Wh what are you talking about, Dad? What do you mean, take good care of mom? You need to get as far away from here as you can. I'm going to fight Majin Buu on my own. N no way! We're gonna fight too! The three of us can take him down for sure! Trunks, I haven't given you a single hug since the day you were born, have I? Huh? Come here, son. Uh... Dad? Uh, 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 uh... What are you doing, Dad? Cut it out! You're embarrassing me! these two as far away from here as you can. I'm counting on you, Piccolo. You're prepared to die, aren't you? Just tell me one thing. If I die, will I be able to see Kakarot in the other world? I'm afraid not. You've killed too many innocent people. When you die, you'll lose your body, and your soul will be carried off to a different world. I see. That's too bad. Now, get out of here. Hurry! No! Boo, oh, no! Where'd you go? Wait, Majin Boo! You're going to have to defeat me first! You got that? Fight me, you brain dead balloon! Uh, you say mean things, even though you're weak! I finally know how to get rid of you. Once and for all. Hey! What in the world is Vegeta doing? He's gonna get himself killed! For the first time ever. He's finally fighting to protect someone other than himself. Throwing his life away to do it. To make sure you can't put yourself back together, I'm going to blow you into microscopic pieces!
Here, take these two. I'm going to see what happened. Uh, okay. <laughs> I see. So if Majin Buu only takes a small amount of damage, his cells can regenerate. To prevent that, Vegeta sacrificed himself to blow Majin Buu into a trillion pieces. We were saved by him, of all people. <laughs> Bobbity, you're still alive. Guess I'll have to fix that. Tell me, Majin Buu's fragments, they're... Majin Buu is still alive! for the last time. They will learn to fear the great Bobbity and Martin Boo. Reduce this planet to a desolate hellscape, Martin Boo. Kill as many of the Earthlings as it takes to flush those Cretans out of hiding. Not dead? Majin Buu's not dead? Uh, no way. Vegeta sacrificed himself for nothing? It's not safe here on the surface. Get the kids and everyone else to Kami's lookout, right now! These two are the planet's last chance, as slim as it may be. Majin Buu's energy, but I can't sense Vegeta's anywhere. Uh, don't tell me. Vegeta couldn't have gotten himself killed. Oh no. I don't sense Gohan's energy either. What's going on? Hmm? Piccolo and Krillin are both alive. They aren't stone anymore. Okay. They should know what's going on. I'd bet on that. Where would they be? At Kami's lookout, maybe? <laughs> Majin Buu. I wonder what kind of monster he is. I hope everyone's okay. Goku! Is that really you, Goku? You're alive! Yeah, I was hoping you could tell me what's going on. Unbelievable. Gohan and the Supreme Kai? This is too much. Even Vegeta was taken down. Majin Buu's power. 
It's far greater than the Supreme Kai initially feared it would be. If we don't act fast, all life in the universe, let alone here on Earth, will be completely wiped out of existence. Well, not all hope is lost. We still got you, Goku. If anyone can beat Majin Buu, then it's you. I'll be honest. That's not gonna happen. I can't beat him. Uh -huh. Me and Vegeta were pretty much matched as far as power goes. And Majin Buu? He had no problem taking everything Vegeta threw his way. There's no way around it. I don't stand a chance. Uh, really? Wow. Man, this stinks! If either Gohan or Vegeta were still alive, we might have had a real chance to do something. I don't think so. No, we're gonna need more than just numbers against this guy. He really is that strong. Nah, that's not what I meant. I'm talking about fusion. Huh? Fusion? What's that? Fusion? Where two people merge, right? That's a special technique used by the Metamorans. You know about that? And you're right. I learned the technique from a Metamoran I met in Otherworld. If two people are about the same size and roughly equal in strength, they can combine with each other. Do you understand what this means? Two people can form one person with way more power than either of the original two are capable of by themselves. There is one thing you really need to keep in mind. Apparently, you can only stay combined for 30 minutes. <sighs> now it makes sense. I think I understand. You were hoping to fuse with either Gohan or Vegeta if one of them was alive. You'd form the ultimate warrior and be able to fight Majin Buu. But fortunately, Gohan and Vegeta, they're both gone. Uh, so, this is the worst case scenario, isn't it? Goten and Trunks are sleeping inside, and they are about the same size and strength. Perhaps they could fuse. Hey, that's a great idea, Mr. Popo! Yeah, we could do that. That'll work. Piccolo, I'm gonna do whatever I possibly can to teach the fusion technique to the kids. But it's gonna take some time. At some point in all of this, I'll need you to take over for me. Fine. I got it. This is good. There's hope for us yet! Those kids might be able to pull this off! Right. But understand, it's going to take quite a while before Goten and Trunks are able to perform the technique. The time this will take is something others don't have. A lot of people could die before that happens. Everyone on the planet, even the planet itself, might be wiped out before then. This is a long shot. But we've got no other choice. You're right about that. Even if all of humanity gets wiped out, we've still got the Dragon Balls to bring everyone back. What's going on? It got dark all of a sudden. Wait, is that... Did someone summon Shenron? Wait, but who? Bulma had all of the Dragon Balls last, right? But she doesn't know the situation. What's she doing? Of course! Yeah, that's right. Vegeta killed a bunch of people at the World Tournament. Bulma's gonna ask Shenron to bring them all back. Oh, no! If she makes all three wishes now, we'll have to wait another year. I'll go try to stop her. Just as Goku had predicted, Bulma and the others had summoned Shenron to bring back all those killed by Vegeta. The first wish had already been granted, but Goku was able to prevent the last two wishes from being used. Shenron disappeared and the Dragon Balls scattered, inert for the next four months. Goku then warped the confused group to Kami's lookout, where they would then all be safe from Majin Buu's onslaught.
Here we have an individual brought back to life with the Dragon Balls. I... I'm certain I was killed by Dabara. But was I brought back to life? How can that be? What's going on? Where is the Supreme Kai? Oh, good. He's still alive. Supreme Kai! Supreme Kai! Thank goodness, I wasn't too late! Uh, uh, Kibito! W what are you doing here? Uh, I saw you die! You were blown to pieces! Indeed. I too am uncertain how I was able to come back. That's right! Kibito, we have to hurry! Gohan's in danger! Huh? We have to prevent Gohan from dying at all costs! <clears throat> it looks like we've come to his aid without a moment to spare! Thank goodness! Kibito, we should restore Gohan's strength once we're back in the land of the Kais! Huh? D do you mean to tell me we are going to allow a mortal to step foot in our holy land? Yes, now we need to hurry. He doesn't have much longer. R right Kai Kai. Hmm? What? What the? Huh? Where am I? This is the land of the Kais, our homeworld. Wait, what? Your homeworld? Yes, this is a holy land that even the gods and Kais, let alone mortals, were not to enter. Wait! I thought you died. Do you have the ability to revive yourself? Unfortunately, no. My revival is just as much a mystery to me as it is to you. Uh, uh, why am I here? We hope you'll be able to use the Z-Sword to defeat Majin Buu. You should have what it takes to utilize that sword and its power. Huh? The Z-Sword? Are you sure about this, Supreme Kai? The Z-Sword is not a weapon that a mere mortal could ever wield. Not possible. Neither I nor countless other Supreme Kais could ever make use of the legendary sword. As you were dead, Kibito, you haven't seen how truly remarkable Gohan's power is. At any rate, we should at least try. Come with me. <clears throat> You'll need some more suitable clothes. Oh. Huh. Kabito and I are wearing matching outfits. It's kind of embarrassing. 